Bad mind a kill them, bad mind a kill them This one dedicated to all Eden Bad mind a kill them, bad mind a kill them Tell Sean a key if he go and go tell Gwen Bad mind a kill them, bad mind a kill them This one dedicated to all Eden Up move, every back to every cup move Michael is representing for Dan Sinclair and Unroly Cody People that channel you know better watch it Remember, me tell you, watch it, me say, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Remember, don't move into the and the body's channel and lock up the wall right, right now. Michael has said that. Now you hear me? You hear me, people? Hey, Dan Sinclair. Man, I go take a run, you take a walk, you take a ride, you take a drive and circle my country. You take a run, you take a walk, you take a ride, you take a drive and circle my country, my killer said. It's sticky over foreign and it's sticky in a yard. Every man a boss it hard. Everything we go on a foreign, me say it go on a yard. Father God do help we all, Lord. He gets sticky over foreign and he sticky in a yard. Every man a boss it hard. And everything we go on a foreign, me say it go on a yard. Dancing clear, flap them all, Lord. Up! They go. Welcome, 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 people, to another edition of Dancing Clear quick fire interview. Just big up yourself Dan Sinclair Bridging and big up yourself for Unruly Cooley. I'll be your host for today, Shawnee T, right? Now, people, who we have here? None other than one of the baddest dancehall artists from sound system days to recording artists from back in the days. I bring to you Michaelus. Ambition! That <laughs> you say. It's the man, Michael, as there is a multiplier minus and plus. All is happy there is my boss. A hot move, a back play, a cup move. All right. Yes, cool, man. Yes. So, Michael, we got this quick fire interview vibes, okay? Yeah, so, I'm going to fire yeah. some questions at your quick time, nice and easy. Yeah, man. Okay? Right. And we're going to start like this. So, what, what age did you get into the music business and what inspired you, Pritchard? Well, I start out um, at a tender age. I, um, I start out um, in my teenage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was going, right as I graduated from school, yeah. my official start was 1988 when I did my first hit song. But I, I started before and the sound system in my area. Okay. And Yellow Man and Peter Mitchell was my inspiration. They inspired me. Okay. Yeah. Right. Two real general them they were. Up till today, they are the ones who really inspired my killers. Yeah. Nice. So I heard you just mention that you come off, off, off a sound system, you know what I mean? The born and grown sound. So what sound did you come up on? You know what I mean? Is it a local sound, a big sound? Yeah, well, we start from some little sound in my community, a little sound called One Love in St. Anne's Bay. I'm from St. Anne's Garden Parish. A little mm -hmm. place called Lima, a yeah. couple of miles up of St. Anne's Bay. Okay, and right. then we start DJ and next little sound called Melophonic. Uh -huh. And then... People start to hear me, and then the top sound from St. at that time was a sound called Class One. So Class One employed me to be the resident DJ. Okay. That's where I started to rub shoulders with man like Professor Nuts, Lieutenant Stitchy and Papa San, because they used to bring down them artists from Spanish Town yeah. to become DJ part for them sound. So me the resident DJ, so they have a couple of Michael. At the same time, they name the Enrod Mikey. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Man. I remember you from back in the day. One thing I always remember about you, lyrically, solid. Yeah, because them used to call me the shortest DJ with the longest lyrics. Because right. people used to ask out of me a rookie story with the longest lyrics. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad them with really, you know. So yeah. we, we, we used to write my lyrics them every right. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you prepare for God for the sound system then. You know, 1987 now. 85, we win the national DJ contest for St. Uh -huh. Yeah, they used to have a festival DJ contest for each parish. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, me yeah. winning for St. Anne 85. And then now, Jack Ruby, which one of the top sound out of Jamaica, employed me in 1987 to be the resident DJ on Jack Ruby sound. Okay. So I'm from Jack Ruby then to Metro Media. That was my last sound system of DJ and before I exploded. Ah, wicked, wicked. So Mikey, growing up, did you, did you, did you buy music when you was a youth? Did you buy any songs? Or stuff? If you did, what was the first song that you bought? Which? Never buy any song, but we used to go to the duke box then. Uh, and I'm a community, they tell you yeah, they have the duke box where you put the money in and punch a record. Yeah, yeah. And my favorite record they used to punch is I'm a yellow man. I'm getting married in the morning. <laughs> and Peter Mitchell and Yellow Man did have a combination, Michael Jackson, I'm um, the girl is mine. Yeah. I punch them, they tell them, rub out. <laughs> and whole beat me get for taking my grandmother money time out of the pan and punch in the music, you know? Okay. Them time the yellow man run the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
So uh, you say you come from Saint Anne's. What what what, what school did you go in Saint Anne's? Patrick? I went to um first I went to an infant school. Yeah. And then I went to Lymal Primary. That's where I grew up. And then my last school was Marcus Garvey Secondary oh. in Saint Anne's Bay. Okay. So I graduated from infant to primary to Marcus Garvey Secondary. After graduating, I started to teeth out and go and dance for DJ and get make up change and yeah. you get hold up a beat and come back, <laughs> come back in the night time, go under the bed, go hide and broomstick wake me up, you know? See. And I have to go listen to yellow man, no matter what, I know me get beaten, yeah. but I have to go to listen to yeah. yellow man. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. I get you, yeah, I get you. So, what, what, do you have a favourite, do you have a favourite, um, uh, uh, what do you say, like, do you have a favourite album from another artist? Well, my favourite album, you know, when we ever, um, Two albums I always like is um, Bob Marley Exodus. Yeah. Yeah, and Yellow Man. I think it's Eradication. Operation Eradication. Okay. Yeah. The album there. Trust me, I have two favorite albums of all times. Oh. I have other albums, them two they stand out. Okay. Yeah, I okay. always get a Yellow Man, I'm a general, you know. The only thing they want to look like Yellow Man was the color. I must just like him, you know. I can't even sound like him, man. Special request on a popular demand. Which is my good command. Yeah, man, because I was my real idol. Right. Yeah, man. Right. Real. Right. So, Mikey, tell me something. Where, where's the last event that you played at? Like, well, since I've been here in, in, in the UK, mm -hmm. I perform at the Notting Hill Carnival with Saxon, 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 what I saw in Saxon, Saxon Studio. Saxon Studio. Yeah, yeah. man, and trust me, the Shellit performance was up. Dan Sinclair okay. video to talk about okay. YouTube, you know? Okay. Yeah. Ah, nice, nice. So, I know you've been in this game along, uh, 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 for a little while still, Blood. So, what, what's one of your greatest moments in dance hall that you can remember for your career? Well, my greatest moment in a dance hall was 1995. I did, a, I did a song called Manawal. This I wanna hit near Manawal. From you know, say that you stand tall. And you know what, on God name your card. Put your one in on the ear and say, Yeah, Manawal, we not take no quote, nor no crap. That song went to number one in the Bahamas. Uh -huh. And when they bring me into the Bahamas to perform, some young producer, mm -hmm. promoters bring me to the Bahamas to perform, they bring me in a club, which them say Lady Saw performed the week before. Yeah. Then time Lady Saw hat. And when I reached Bahamas, I never did expect it. I said, hold up a TV camera and everything at the airport. See, never yeah. know that Manawal was such a big song okay. in the Bahamas. But I did kind of suspicious because the promoters, them will bring me. Them not bring artists, keep showing artists unless them hot. Yeah. So when they book me, me I wonder why them you talk book me because I'm not hot. At them time, they are Florida. But by this time, the song hot in the Bahamas, I never know. See. So I go over there, I book up one entourage at the airport. When we go perform at the club tonight, them tell me say me draw the biggest crowd. Wow. So I pay a cold bomb call me say, <laughs> and the thing is it and me produce the song too. Yeah, see? Me the produce okay. the song. So okay. it, that was a great moment for me in the music. What, what studio you was working at to, to, to produce that song there? Them time I work with Anchor Recording. Okay. Yeah, Gossip Club, a famous yeah, producer yeah, of the Jamaica, yeah, yeah, yeah. rent his studio because me produce also because I start producing from 1992. Mm -hmm. My label name Champion Label. Okay. So I produced that song and it's surprising to me the song just blow. See. It was big in Jamaica but never knew it was so big in the Bahamas. Okay, so you're a producer too? Yeah man, I produce a whole lot of artists. Sugar Miner, some producer and Liquor John, Banana Man, Dr. C. The last artist that I produce and put out a road is Charlie Black. Okay. Me and Charlie Black used to partner. Yeah, okay. I produce him first time to play on the road. I produce Jigsy King, Tony Curtis, a whole lot of artists, Malibu. Yeah. Yeah man, producer, yeah, man. Man, a label man, champion label, you know? Mm. Let me know, you see that people? Yeah man. Mad. Okay, so what, what what's what type of music? What other types of music you listen to, Blood? Well, what's your, like, what's your name? Me your three top types of music you like to listen. Let me say reggae, uh, number one. Mm -hmm. Some people say dancehall, but for me, I reggae same way, you know. And my next favorite music is R and B. Okay. I love R and B because R Kelly made me start listening to R and B. I'm a favorite R and B singer. So I love R and B. I love soul music. So reggae, mm -hmm. R and B, and soul music. Okay, so if you, if you if you if you was an artist, right, blood, what 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 would you be doing? I'd be making shoes. Yeah. Because I was a shoemaker. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, like, I used to make shoes. Yeah. Yeah, but um, when we get get involved in the music, now I realize that music is the direction. Yeah. yeah. I just running from. I used to make shoes with my uncle and my grandfather. Mm -hmm. So I just running from that and start the music. I suffer for years. Okay. So because you know when you're not boss, you know yeah, yeah. the money to the music. Yeah, definitely. But you say boy, I got on what listen, ray ray ray. But you decide I'm <laughs> fight the back and fight the back and still, you know. Mm. I pass the worst, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. definitely. So if you if you could go back in time, right, Bridgin, um, is there anything that you would do differently? Well, what I would do differently musically, 
if I would if I should go back in time, I would never um I wouldn't produce so much young artists. Because I didn't even tell you the full story. I produce a lot of young artists. Mm -hmm. You understand? But they, 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 they are very ungrateful. See. Yeah, I would stick to more veteran because the veteran them, when I produce a veteran them, they understand the business more. Yeah. And their music sell more. Yeah, yeah. But Peter Metro was the one who helped me. Yeah. So me like to help. So I go out there and see the young talent them. And so we just can't resist them by doing you know, produce them. But sometimes I produce them and them just, you know, through them don't know the business, yeah. them just turn against you and stuff like that. See. And, you know, you regret helping them for them because sometimes it backfire, you know? Okay. But it's already gone through already still, you know? Same things work out like that, but it's yeah. good that you want to work with the veteran artists. Yeah, kind of, yeah, man, veteran, you know? Yeah, definitely. So, you see, today, today is Tuesday and we're in England. Yeah. And what have you been listening to today? What, right. you, what are you beating? What tune you beat? What songs you beat today? But nah, like, apart from dancehall, you know, me like Papi, I like Alkaline, I like Assassin, I like uh, Busy. But okay. apart from them music, eh, I beat a whole heap African music from what you start. I like the beat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I listen to a whole heap African music. Okay, the Afrobeat style. Afrobeat, I love it. Yeah. I get I, I get an Afrobeat from Nigeria to do a song on. Yeah. And here from a producer. And I can't wait to go to Jamaica to go shut it up. Okay. I like the Afrobeat, you know? Mm. But other than that, you know, I have to listen to younger artists, them. Because they keep me up to date and modern and definitely yeah. I'm not just stuck back in the eighties and nineties. Yeah. Yeah, I listen to you them. Okay. Like alkaline, me like poppy. Okay. And, you know? Wicked. Yeah, man. So, brother, other than like the people that you're sparring with at the moment, if you could make a band for yourself, who would be in your band? We're talking live band, like we wanna play. Bass instruments. And, yeah, instruments yeah. and your backing singers and who would be in your band? Well, if me have the opportunity if you have a band and could get Sly uh, and Rabbit <laughs> yeah. with um, a, a, a group from Ochi then called um, Live Wire. Okay. Live Wire, yeah. Carl and a couple of them. Okay. They build a band with um, Sly Rabbit and a few members of the Live Wire band. Mm -hmm. Bad, 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 bad band. No, Live okay. Wire. You must run off Live Wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they from Ochi. Yeah, yes, trust me. Tight, tight, tight band, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's how it go, you know? Oh, you would have any any singers? Any, what singers? Any 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 singers would you have in there? Well, my favorite singer, you know, you know, so I have to have as veteran mm -hmm. Sanchez. Wow, veteran Sanchez. If I say new artist, it have to be Roman Virgo. Wow, bad singer. No man, I love that youth. youth. Not, not only singing can I sing, but the youth humble. Okay, yeah, yeah. Very very humble. Me admire him for youth where you know just boss for and trust me. No, I know anything. You just humble. Cut off that. You just humble. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very humble. So, I work with the Roman Virgo and Sanchez. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it to have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you're, uh, uh, you're, you're super experienced as an artist. Because I can remember seeing you back in 1989 on, on, on Metro, Media. Metro Media. Yeah. Up in the hills in St. Anne's. Right. You understand? Yeah. So, tell me something from them day till now. Do you get nervous before a performance? Yeah, man. I mean, I, anytime I can't get used to it. Anytime I go perform. We use about two more than a hundred times star. <laughs> we just start trembling. Yeah. It's like we, we, we pee a whole heap of time. See, but yeah. end time yesterday mentioned my name and I run out there. Yeah. Everything just gone. Yeah. It just come like flying. We can't yeah. get used to flying. Anytime time I go fly, we can't eat. Yeah man, I witnessed that myself. Yes, yeah, so yeah. time I go perform and we trim all in place, yeah? Mm -hmm. Weak. Weak. But you same time they say, my kill us I'm running out there. Mm. Yeah man. Yeah man, I see in champions in action. You see I seen so many, so many video and DVDs over the years that come to England. You understand that we yes, see my Michael shell the place. Yes man. Really no, but I don't ever see you get nervous, man. Yeah. Before I didn't think that you would get nervous. Yeah man, no, yeah, I say, man, you remember you know, you look out you about there in front of five, six thousand people and everybody have a different state of mind. You want to please all of them. True. I remember Jesus Christ, the Almighty God can't please we. <laughs> so, oh, we are going, but we are safe, we have to do your best, we just try to please the crowd, you know? Yeah, but me, I want to learn from Peter Mitchell, when you run out there, make sure you say your first song, grab the people. Yes. And when you leave, make sure you say the last one, wanting them, asking yeah. for more. Leave them Don't stay yeah. too long and start till them start, say, come, 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 come. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not do them things, I'm not them a joke. Because I know how I perform, I know yeah. perform. So, in time, I got a 3, 4, 7, I see the crowd on the party for my life. Mm. You know, say a time to you. go up cut. We don't still answer to the people fling after them. We don't run them the joint. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. So if you had any if you had the power to make any changes in the industry, the music industry, what what changes would you make, Bridget? If me have the power to stop the disjacket in Jamaica from collect money for play a song. 
see. None of them will get a cent because it a mash up the business and it a make good music can go out there because the people are taking pure all that thing. Okay. It's Jackie take money to play yeah. a song. No matter what song good nowadays, if you don't can't let off the money if you get it airplay. Jan understand. I wish I could have the power for you, you know, every good music out there can play without a cent. See? Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay. Okay, so what, what can we expect from Michael in, 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 the, in the coming future, Richard? Well, you know, say so I just released the Rosie Posey song with me and Boom Dive and I go on good. The video just shot. I wait for it for release in a few weeks. Oh then um, Rosie Posey, that Boom Dive and say, Rosie Posey, girl, you too nosy. Anything and everything you hear, you fit talk. I sing that. Uh, and me come in and say, girl, you too nosy, nosy. <laughs> Who you talk, Rosie Posey? <laughs> me say, you too nosy, nosy. Girl, you feel leave people business. And you know, say, me have the um, now make up and buy song just release. Mm -hmm. That song with the man, I'm going to dance and make up for buy it. Top Shave Liquor. Yeah. Me have that out. And me have a next song called No Fear. But my biggest project for 2019, I've never released an album. Never. I did an album before. Yeah. But it, I've never released because when the producer they have some problems. So okay. as I go to Jamaica now, I start working on my album for release at least even me. 2019. That's gonna be my first album. Me have, yeah. me have all the name feet already. Yeah, well, you're you gonna tell everybody yeah, what, what the name from is? then till you now. Because uh, you know, me used to name Enrod Mikey. Yeah, yeah. And from them time, they're coming up to you know Michael. So, so you yeah. can't want a better name. Yeah. Yes, man. So that may work on right now. But then you should be releasing some of them old things. You should do the best of Mikey as well. You know, so somebody you just, you know, so somebody tell me if you read what the other day, so I mean, if you put some of them old songs together. But I try, me plan to put a 15 track album. Yeah. I'm on yeah. three, I'm a hit. Yeah. Pass. Yeah, bad yeah. mind, I kill them. Me and Peter Mitchell. Bad mind, I kill them. Bad mind, I kill them. This one dedicated to all Eden. Bad mind, I kill them. Bad mind, I kill them. Run around the bend and go tell it to your friend. Cause when you have money, you have a lot of friends. And when your money done, them don't know you again. Someone tell them about your friend. But them are Eden. Then we sell out to get money to spend. That I'm the first hit, you know. Yeah. I remember thing there. Me got the thing there. Yes, me got the thing there. Me got the thing there. Me got the little thing there. Me got the thing there. Yes, me got the thing there. Me got the thing there. Me got the little thing there. Come dancing clear. With the little thing there, make we get to give the people them the little thing there. Who will we give them last night over a thing there? They set the da play. Come from up a thing there when them put on the music with Sanchez and thing there. Every woman and man start to do the da thing there. But the same time we work the little thing there. She good looking and fat like a. So you know, say me first. Come in a music, come talk, talk about thing there. 89 yeah. and the yeah. 10,000. Yeah, remember them. So yeah, so we are planning to put them two songs there. Okay. And the album. We just want some new song. Yeah. But. Differently, me I will com uh, compile some of my old songs them together. Okay. But to me full of lyrics right now yeah. and ideas, we just want something pure new song. Mm. And me and me I look a combination from Sanchez and Roman Virgo. Okay. Hopefully, because my favorite thing yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. Wicked. Yeah, Wicked. So, Mikey, do you have any advice for any up and coming artists or any viewers you, you understand that, that's tuning into this dancing clear video right now? Yeah, well, all the people that we are watching this Dan Sinclair interview, Dan Sinclair, the general interview, you may say, Michael, young artists, first, believe in yourself. Let me nobody think you can't do it. Second, put God. Mm -hmm. I could have said put God first, but anyway, I've got not everything where I do. For real. Remember that. And next thing, manners, right. discipline, right. respect, work with time, not around with people, money. You understand? Mm -hmm. You see, once you in a, once once you set your thing that way there, you will reach a goal. Take a page, take a page of a Roman Virgo book. Every young artist. Time, time is essence, a time is money. So work with time. When people say interview three o'clock, three o'clock you're supposed you're supposed to do a radio session at least ten minutes before. True, true. Yeah, when promoter say stay through time, you have to dip on spot, but take people money and don't throw it. thing you mash up. And believe in yourself and work hard, work hard, continue work. Press on, never give up. If you do, if you do 10 songs and them not going away, do 11. If you do 11 and they're going to do 12. Because remember this, if every day you get up a kick a door, a kick in a door, one day it must give way. True. If I have an iron door, you must drop off on this. So don't give up. Respect. Yes, sir. So, Virgin, on behalf of Dancing Clear and Booly Cooley, Reggae Vibes, and roll the cool it! Look up myself. This has been another quick fire interview with the great Michael. Formerly. One of the. Ah, formerly the N word Mikey. Big up boom that man, you know. And people, remember, you can check out Michael's Facebook www.facebook.com slash Michael's. Instagram Michael's Grant. 
WhatsApp 876-424-9055. Email elmichaelis at yahoo.com. Google me. Big up Japrenta just arrived. Big up Darren. Zizu. Nice vibes. Me love the energy. I swear. Okay. So there you have it, people. We're going to be out of here. You don't know. Michaelis, we're out. Boom. Up, move. Up.